popular video chat service shutting down after its founder acknowledged persistent criminal activity on its website and app. Omegle surged during the pandemic, uh, pairing random users through video chat. But critics say its anonymous freewheeling nature created a haven for pedophilia and child sexual abuse. Even the owner acknowledged the issue, saying it has made their operations no longer sustainable. The site had about 60 million visitors a month. Uh, we got to talk about a, a situation that is has come to my attention, and I, I feel like I kind of need to speak on it. It's uh, it's pretty pretty weird. I I don't didn't think it was appropriate to necessarily make a video on. I think there's a pedophile um, managing taking care of Omigo. Sometimes I have that feeling. I spent a huge chunk of my childhood in this being forced to do things that a child should not have to do every day being at the will of someone else who had the worst of intentions with children everyday things remind me of what i've been through this platform has allowed abuse that carries through a lifetime